Yeah, Glenn, very disturbing. Has everyone in the neighborhood shaken up? I don't know if you just saw a group of people walking by. They've been doing that all night, just looking at what happened. As we mentioned, that house is completely destroyed, and a neighboring house also has damage. Firefighters estimating over a million dollars worth of damage. And what the most upsetting thing is about all of this is authorities don't think that the suspect knew the people who lived inside this house. Limited information is out about this suspect, but authorities do say he is a 37-year-old white man who appears to live in Salt Lake City. This all started a little before 3 this afternoon when police say a man broke into a home with a can of gasoline saying he was going to burn down their home with them inside. Police say he then dumped the gasoline, including throwing it onto one of the victims, and started a fire. Now, fortunately, none of those three victims were burned, but police say he did punch two of them. When police got there, they found him hiding inside the burning home. We talked to a neighbor who lives just a couple of doors down, and he says his neighbors used to be a bus driver, and he was a friend with his son. Growing up, he drove all the kids in the neighborhood to, to junior high and even some of the high school kids. And so it's just kind of sad knowing that we grew up playing in that house and it's all completely burnt down to the ground. And on top of those two victims and the suspect, as you mentioned, six officers had to be treated for smoke inhalation. And as that neighbor was talking earlier, he mentioned what a safe community this is and how kind everyone is. And when we were walking out here, we actually saw people who had water bottles to help the firefighters tackle all of this. But tonight, the main thing everyone is asking is why, still trying to find an answer for why this would happen. They're still looking into this, but authorities think drugs may have played a role in this. Reporting live in Centerville, Courtney Johns, ABC4 News.